All right, Comptown Premium. We are back. Hey, everyone. That's Stavros, and uh, we did it. We've held good on our promise. Adam has been kicked off the podcast. See you later, Adam. Adam, Adam, please. Hold on a second. Adam. Adam's still here. Adam, Adam, Adam. Adam. Uh, replacing You're not Adam. on the podcast. Replacing Adam is our good friend Ian Fidance. Well, we're trying Ian. Now. This, Ian's, this is Ian's tryout. Uh, we had a nice podcast with him um, before. At, we're Shut Adam. up, Adam, Adam, Adam. For fuck, Ian. Adam. Ian. Unfortunately, my apartment's Relax. being used by the Chapo Trap House boys right now to record their pod. They're a much more successful podcast, so we have to use Adam's apartment. So, uh, so te- sorry about that. Yeah, te- he doesn't have a mic. Don't worry. Um, Ian's got the mic, uh, but, uh, we're gonna, if uh, hopefully he can just stop being a bitch about it, you know, yeah. play Candy Crush on his phone or something and just let us, let us Pet have a good, his ugly ass dog with yeah. the long ass nipples. Let us have a good podcast for a change. Yeah. Finally get some of that energy out of here. Um, Ian was on the podcast uh, a couple weeks ago mm-hmm. or months ago yeah. and he did a really shitty impression of, uh. Sean Connery. Oh yeah, that was awful, <laughs> and that was really his only contribution. <laughs> well, we, what we did. The best part is, I told Dan we wanted to have him on the podcast to tell a bunch of hilarious stories about him fucking hookers and shit, and he that he had. To, <laughs> so he sat down and told his girlfriend all these horrific stories of him like <laughs> eating ass for money and shit, and then <laughs> we it never came up. <laughs> it was very G rated. <laughs> <laughs> so he, he had to confront, he Can't had to clean. fucking sit his girlfriend down yeah. and be like, I've done all this terrible shit. And, uh, <laughs> and she had to tell her, had to look her in the eyes. And we didn't, uh, it didn't come up at all, which actually is funnier than him telling it. But um, now we're probably going to burn through some of those since uh, we'll have a, you know, it'd be nice to have someone on the third mic that has an interesting thing to say for a change. You know what I mean? So you'll have some fun yeah. stories. Well, the problem with Adam is that, you know, Adam will tell these stories and he sets them up, you know, with this like tone of grandeur or whatever. And it's like, and then you won't even believe it. I like met this girl on Tinder and then like we had sex. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He always <laughs> pretends like he doesn't fuck. Oh. Well, yeah. Was, I'm so t- glad he's off the you're podcast. You're 29 years old. Is that supposed to be impressive that you had I'm sex? I'm so with glad him? he's off the fucking it's podcast. Not, Adam, not- for fuck's sake, man. All right. All right. Um, yeah, so what we just, uh, sorry, I'm still doing the levels. I got impatient and I wanted to make sure that, uh, we got this started because it's getting late in the day and, uh, you know, I'm trying to go see, uh, Arrival again. I'm, I'm going to go give it a second <laughs> chance. I didn't see that shit. I saw fucking, what did I see? Uh, Dr. Strange. I saw it with my family over fucking Thanksgiving. It sucked. Uh, it looked like it sucked. Dick. It sucked. And my dad tried to show me the trailer. He's like, you got to see this. And I watch it and I have no idea what's going on. It was it's fucking like, horrible. Yeah. It's Benedict Cumberbatch in a fucking gay outfit. Yeah. And I'm they're gay like, and doctor yeah, today. <laughs> we, we have to save the city. And it's like, how is this going to be any different from any Every fucking, single Marvel yeah. movie. It's all the same I shit. I checked out on those after, I think... You know, like really, it was uh, one of the Iron Mans when I was done with them. Yeah, the Iron Mans. The first one was good. Maybe even the second one. The I first don't know. one was the first one was good. good. But but now, ever, ever since then, every movie's just been the first Iron Man, but with a different fucking. They're just trying to set up a franchise mm. and shit. Also, I was fucked up as shit. I was on like a big ass edible. Yeah, the first two Spider Mans were pretty good. I saw the first Spider Man like three times in theaters. Right. I, first I thought, one was good. I thought that shit was great. Never. You seen didn't one. like it. Uh, I haven't anyone? seen any comic. Adam, movies. is do is your water turned back on? His water was shut off. Yeah, this is great without me. You know, with the shut the comic. fuck Adam, up. We asked Adam. you a question. Right. Yeah, it's back on. Yes. Could yeah. you make some can coffee? You, can you give me a cup of water, please? <laughs> I'll take a coffee. Come on, man. Adam, please. We have a guest. We're guests in your apartment. You're being pretty rude <laughs> to us. Look, considering that you were a guest on the podcast for months on end. Yeah, we put you on the podcast even last week. Remember? Look, he's already fucking up the show by showing oh, look, Ian pictures. Look who's on, his, on his fucking phone. He's not even on the podcast. Uh, and he's I distracting. Got, I got my phone as yeah. much as I want. <laughs> Maybe this is why you're not on the podcast, bitch, because you're okay. always on your fucking yeah. phone. Okay, I threw my phone out before I came in here. See, Ian, very yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. Ian's uh, Ian's professional. Ian does mm-hmm. a lot of commercial work nowadays, which yes. an- annoys me personally because my agency dropped me. 
<laughs> yeah. Well, Ian does look stupid as shit. Yeah. He's perfect for commercials. Yep. yep. I, I bombed every single one of those commercial auditions. Oh, yeah. That you go into them and the casting director, look, the script's garbage. Uh-huh. It's supposed to be funny, yeah. you know, and it's written by some dickhead that's never been funny in his life. Uh-huh. He, like, you know, was in a frat and then his uncle got him a job at <laughs> right. an advertising agency. <laughs> They're like, okay, so it's like, you know, a bunch of people are like, what are we going to do for dinner? And someone's like, um, uh, seamless much, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> you know, but, you know, it has sort of like, we want kind of like a, like a Seth Rogen-y sort of feel. You right. Know? So right. don't play it straight. We want it, we want this, we don't want this to be like a commercial, you know? We want this to be like, uh, we want it to be real. We want it to be real. And by that, I mean like every other commercial. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We just don't want it to sound like a commercial from 15 years ago. <laughs> everyone does like that old, everyone's ripped off Old Spice now too, where it's like, everything's like, let's yeah. be weird. Weird, wacky, and zany, and yeah, shit. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, uh, it's terrible, and it's like the kind of humor I don't even think is funny. Mm-hmm. There is one commercial I had fun in the audition, and I was like, you know, calling avocados gay. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, "Yeah, just have fun with the script," and I'm like, "For real?" And they were like, "Never mind, <laughs> not that way." I, I fucking would, love. Avocados. I bombed. So I've bombed so many auditions. I I went into one. And the director stopped me and uh, he goes, listen, I really like your look and I want to book you, but you're a fucking mess. <laughs> I was like, what? I'm sorry. <laughs> and then I was like, he like gave me a talk and I was like, oh, thanks. I'm, I'm Ian. What's your name? And he goes, you don't even know my name. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> I was like, okay, thank wow, you. Wow, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He got what pissed. I didn't know his name. The director? Yeah. Mm-hmm. The casting director. Oh, the casting director. Yeah. Because this thing, like directors on commercials are fucking jokes. Yeah, because they don't they're not really directors, you know? Yeah, yeah. The client client agency directs the commercial mm-hmm. essentially. The director just shows up and harasses PAs and makes them find kombucha for them. <laughs> oh dude, I did I did one uh in June and uh the assistant the, the assistant director was the biggest asshole. He was yelling at everyone and yeah. like everything you did was wrong and then he was like, "All right, just just have fun with it." And I was bowling dad. Yeah. I had to like take <laughs> pictures of my daughter. Yeah. And he's like, "Just have fun with this." Uh really have fun with it and the whole crew and i like kind of were seeing eye to eye about this guy was a dick and i yeah. was like this is the greatest day of my life claire you're doing wonderful and he goes okay don't ever do that again and i was like all right <laughs> wow you said that yeah yeah he's a shitty ad yeah but yeah. that's like the ad's job is to be a dick and boss everybody around oh he hit it out of the park yeah but no he shouldn't make the talent uncomfortable I think Ian's doing great, actually. Shut the <laughs> fuck up, Adam. <laughs> See, Adam would make a great AD. He's a pushover. Nobody likes him. <laughs> He's the kind of guy everyone on the crew can sort of rally yeah, rally exactly. against. He's yeah. a perfect scapegoat. I think I have natural leadership qualities. Yeah, right, yeah. bitch. What are you talking Shut about? Shut up. Take the fuck. I brought, you know, I brought Adam on a couple of the commercial jobs I've worked as, as a truck boy, and uh, he didn't do well. Yeah, I'm what not surprised. What's a truck do boy well? do? You just fucking. Uh, I we I like drive trucks for commercials. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I go pick up the cameras and shit. And you can't even do that. No. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. No. We had we had we did a, we did one commercial and they had a craft services table that we were eating at and mm-hmm. then they had another table that was clearly marked and labeled for like people from client agency. <laughs> and he went over and started eating <laughs> off the food in front of everybody. <laughs> what a fucking uh-huh. idiot. They said I could. <laughs> no one no, said you could. No way. That's what the guy with the scarves said I could do. The guy yeah. with the scarves. <laughs> you remember that guy? <laughs> yeah, I remember him. Whatever. It's not about you. It's about Ian. That guy. <laughs> fuck that guy. By the way, he didn't pay me for like really? six. Yeah, six weeks. Let's find him and fuck his ass up. I got the money eventually. Oh, nice. Yeah. Let's just find him and fuck his ass. Ian, do you have any fun stories about fucking hookers that you want to tell the people? Oh, jeez. Uh, well, I vetted a couple with my girlfriend prior to coming here. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Did you tell her all the horrific shit you've done with? I mean, we've been like really open and honest. So really, I have you guys to thank for pushing <laughs> yeah. me over that edge to <laughs> get to that point in my relationship. My favorite <laughs> story. <laughs> can I? I mean, I'm telling. What, okay. what am I asking you for? Wait, can I, can I jump in with this one? Do you, do you remember when? Uh, do you even know Tommy? You know Tommy, right? Tommy. Oh Tommy yeah, yeah. P. Oh uh, yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah. I'm sure he doesn't give a yeah. shit. I mean, he has a real career. I don't. Right. This isn't gonna fucking do anything to it. Right. right. So Tommy Pope. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was like, like Halloween. Halloween like two years ago, and I went up to him, and he was, was sitting there. there. Shut up, uh, Adam. You're not on the podcast. Man. Yeah. So I, I like a, a guy. It was like Halloween like two years ago, <laughs> and uh, 
me and someone who's no longer on the podcast we were looking for <laughs> we were looking for like blow and so I go up to Tommy and I was like you know because we didn't have a guy to buy blow off of so I go up to Tommy and I was like hey man you got a blow guy you know and Tommy sits there for like a half second and he like thinks about it and he goes no but I fucked the tranny once <laughs> <laughs> And I was like, what? And he was like, I fucked a tranny. And I was like, what the fuck? And he was like, you asked me if I ever, I've ever blown a guy. <laughs> he's like, no. I said, do you have a blow guy? And he's like, oh, uh, no, you, no, I don't. I'm sorry. I love that he just volunteered that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's so thought good. about it for yeah. a second. Well, the story was great. The story he told me. Oh, was, really? Yeah, he was like uh, just walking around one night and he like went to pick up a you know, a street walker or nice. whatever. Nice. And he picked her up and uh then he she was like blowing him in a bathroom and uh, you know, he's like uh he was like, All right, like uh fuck it like I wanna fuck you or whatever. So she turns around and uh he like starts fucking her in the ass and then he like reaches around and she's got like a dick. <laughs> I didn't know like, the whole time. Yeah, I, guess know, yeah. <laughs> I, I guess he didn't know. And then he's like and he's like and then I just took a second and I was like, All right, fuck it. And he just, <laughs> and it That's when you know, dude. That should be the test for if you're homophobic or not. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> like you're surprised with a dick. Yeah. What do you do? If you keep fucking you're the best. Yeah, you're, good. you're a good yeah, guy. Yeah. I love that story. That guy's great. Uh, he's yeah, funny he, shit. he and I well now the cat's out of the bag on that he and I uh, got her dick sucked by a trans woman <laughs> on a roof in East Village one night you and him yeah, the like together oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you were just sitting next to each other what standing. are the odds? I'm standing of course what you the were... fuck when uh, a while ago <laughs> Was this what while was, was this while you were sober? No, oh, no, oh, no, okay. no. I was right. I was drinking it. Uh, we this girl that I had ended up being like she. I went on a date with her and I showed up on acid, and uh, she got like weirded out by that and then stopped talking to me and then invited me to her white coat party because she just graduated. What is that? Is that like an oh, alt-right thing? thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. And she was what having like this get-together at, <laughs> at like, what? Why what? were you dating someone that went to medical school? We dude? weren't dating. She she saw me do comedy once. She thought uh, I was going to be like whatever. Course. Wow, years you know. ago? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I should act like then. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> and uh, so we go I mean, there it's barely past to like now. eat a dick. And so we go <laughs> there and uh we are i'm there to like be like hey things are great now melissa and we were just rotating door doing coke in the bathroom <laughs> with all these like doctors and everything wait so, you went with with tommy oh, okay. and a couple of friends of ours i like crashed you this crashed party yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. oh you're yeah. such a piece of shit so then so then we were standing outside and she's like yeah you know it's good to see you and she got in the car uh, she was like, hey, hold on one second. I was like, okay. And she just got in a cab and left with another guy. <laughs> <laughs> hold on one second. Rolled the window up and I was like, what? Melissa! And I like got so upset. I you was got like, cab cucked. That's dude. it. We're getting out of here. You got, so we were you just got, on a you mission. Got cu- cuck capped. <laughs> yeah, 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 cuck cab. By Welcome to the cuck cab. <laughs> ben Bailey's cuck cab. You get the ben question Bailey. wrong, he fucks your girlfriend. <laughs> Uh, Adam, do you want to laugh at that story? Let him laugh into the mic. It was, it no, was, just no, laugh at it. Laugh at the comment on it. It was a good story. Laugh, dude. I don't have a laugh right now. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. <laughs> not, not That's it. You blew it. You blew it, bitch. That was your chance to be you on the podcast. It, bitch. Um, hold on. <laughs> so, so you, so you get cab cunked, and uh-huh. then you just wander the streets and find a trans Wha- hooker by you know. God was looking out for me that night because yeah. we found a good one. Yeah. And uh, somehow, I don't know how, we ended up on a roof. <laughs> I think she suggested the yeah. roof. That's why, that that's why go I, to I, spot. I, I love all these people. They're like, ah, New York used to be so cool. And it's like, no, you're just boring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's right. still plenty of cool yeah, New York no, You can still around. do a bunch you of cool shit. Suck. You yeah. are a shitty, sucky person. You can sneak up onto the roof at the Lantern. You go oh, yeah? through, you could get into the apartments through this really? door they keep open. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Is uh, that where you got your dick sucked? Uh, no, this is in the East Village. And then we, uh, 
That's God. How, how Woody Allen, you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just, you know, she's got a dick, but she understands my... That's her flaws. That that, she has you know, you're joking, but that's literally, I would say, what, 40% of your relationships? What? <laughs> she's got a dick, but she understands me. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Pay, 60. Didn't you pay some, a trans hunger to fucking eat pancakes with you or something? No. <laughs> Eventually, yes. <laughs> I, I, no, I, you paid her in pancakes. Yeah. They should make a movie about your life called Please Leave Las Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, please leave. <laughs> what was it? You went to a dot? You didn't have I, money? I didn't have... I thought that I had access to all of my money uh -huh. in my account, but after you use your card so much, it locks you out. <laughs> and yeah. so I was like, you, you know how, call you, up your guy. You know, the fucking spending limit is like $3,000 a day. I had it to a lot lower so uh, I could because of the so savior. I could like you're at the bank of alcohol <laughs> so I could cut curb. off curb my my thing yeah. so I wouldn't black out you like, you, you bank it well whiskey far <laughs> <laughs> there <laughs> he is yes. all right um, and uh yeah no I I didn't have enough I was like call your guy we're getting blow we're getting a room we're fucking and uh I could only get out like a hundred dollars <laughs> and so I was like here's the thing mm -hmm. and so I was like I could get you food do you want to eat at a diet afterwards and she was just so disappointed and uh really she did you fuck made fun of my dick um <laughs> <laughs> she told me i had a little dick she was back <laughs> that is a really shit that's a dick. that is fucking yeah. the horrible customer service. <laughs> yeah. i know that's like I the know. experience I've go i'm going through with my bank right now <laughs> <laughs> they made fun of you amalgamated a dick. yeah they made fun of my dick and then they sent me my debit card a month and a half later <laughs> That's so good. She had a much yeah. bigger dick than you. Huh? And I was really trying to like, so what's where where are you from? She's like Brazil. <laughs> she just was not into the conversation <laughs> at all trying that to we were having. Up a prostitute <laughs> yeah, yeah. while we're eating eggs You're at like four in the morning. Such a fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you want to come to a show? She's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> You're the best, Ian. Holy shit. Uh, Man, yeah. this is such a fun story. That's Probably great. the funnest story. It, Ian makes me feel like a piece of shit about even like considering calling myself an alcoholic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> you have had some hilarious, yeah. Ian's had some hilarious times, some halfway, hey, some fun yeah. halfway home stories. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know what's funny? When I met Ian, when I met Ian, I was like exactly at like two and a half years sober or something. And we met at like Stand Up New York or something. And uh, like we started talking about sobriety and he was like, yeah, I've got like a week and a half. I was like, oh, good for you. And he was like, yeah, I had time before that. And I was like, how long? He's like two and a half years. And then I was like, oh, fuck, like yeah, it yeah, didn't yeah. happen to me or whatever. And then I was like, well, like, like what happened? Like, you know, I was like fascinated. Yeah. I'm like, what happened? And you fell off the wagon. He's like, ah, you know, I was just at the airport and I was bored. So I, just, <laughs> <laughs> I got a beer at the bar. <laughs> Is that real? Is that what happened? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> tell him, tell him what happened after that. Yeah, wow. Well, I, I, uh, I was actually working at a so, halfway house. <laughs> So, Wait, so like, you're at the airport. Not only was I like losing my sobriety, but I was losing my job. Oh my <laughs> I was just God. like, don't care. Wait, wait. You're at the airport going where? What's the? Uh, I was going uh, out on the road. Okay. And uh, <laughs> I ended up getting whacked, and I almost missed my flight because I went to another <laughs> airport bar to fill up my. Drink thing with beer because <laughs> you can bring it onto the flight. <laughs> and then, Jesus uh, Christ. yeah, I like pissed myself a little bit on the flight and uh, just like was like, oh, it's, I think it's just water. And then you think you just pissed water? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I, think it's I just to, like water convinced that myself that it wasn't bad yet. And then, uh, you know, for, for two weeks, it was real, real touch and go. And then on the way back, you know, you drink. So you just out on the road for just two like, weeks. Like you're just drinking. You're drinking. And oh, then, so uh, you were going on the road, and you're like, I want to get fucked up on the road. Yeah, was that was going on. Right. Yeah, and and uh, and I, on the way back, I had to meet up with my my ex girlfriend was picking me up, and I couldn't. Why? The because she loved me, and uh, she was your ex. At the time? No, no, no. Oh, did, girlfriend, she, girlfriend. did she also have a bigger dick than you? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, Maybe that's why you keep falling off the wagon is you keep fucking women with bigger dicks than you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I gotta find a little dick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Trans <laughs> little dick princess. Little, 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 dick, lady little dick Cinderella. <laughs> you put a put golden on, golden on baby me. condom on her. Put a golden baby yeah. condom. <laughs> and then Miss, you, you left this in my ass. And then it, <laughs> And then at midnight, you turn back into a heterosexual. <laughs> midnight, get out of here. <laughs> you disgust me. I'm a man. 
yeah. uh, no, dude, it, it just it fucking sucks. No matter how much you drink, it's like not enough. And then you you like uh, don't even think you just like, I don't care. I just want to get fucked up. And on the bus on the way to her place, I tried to get to uh, the airport bar. It was closed. <laughs> so I went on a you bus tried to go to the airport bar after you landed. Yes, <laughs> that's incredible. Yes. That is and, beautiful. and I also stole a bottle of wine on the plane. <laughs> And and in my mind I was like I'm better than all these people and I took the wine and I was drinking it by the bathroom and I looked out at everyone like being normal and I was like yeah fucking idiots <laughs> look at look at that <laughs> and so then I found I I knew I was gonna see her and I was like uh, but she's not gonna have booze at her place so I just fucking uh, start drinking hand sanitizer in the fucking what bus in yeah dude two weeks that's not the plan <laughs> yeah. I know that's why it's alcoholism dude it's like you, not that a, is crazy that is yeah. insane it's like, and and I didn't plan on that's it. top it wasn't level thing alcoholic of like, dude yes yeah, so that's why it's like the next time but I'm shooting heroin into my right. dick yeah, 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 like yeah. it's For not sure. gonna be like a good thing you're yeah. drinking <laughs> hand sanitizer yeah, just uh, <laughs> give Adam a second to explain why he doesn't have stories like that i miss being on the podcast so much shut guys. up it's not what he asked you dude. why why don't you have stories like this why don't i have stories like cool this? Yeah, stories like our question you, you know what by the way Ian, a, you're I, doing great thanks man. this is really fun i don't have a, a substance abuse uh issues uh but if it'll yeah, get me back pussy. on it'll, if it'll get me back on the podcast uh, okay well that's great that's the adam segment and we're gonna go back to ian now uh ian tell him th- fun th- look, sort of gay ian that story's <laughs> not even over yet yeah 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 so didn't you end up? Didn't you end up? Didn't you end up at a nightclub and like you're trying to buy crack? <laughs> oh, that that was that was in the when I was away. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Tell yeah. that part. And, well, this this I I went to this place <laughs> and uh, called the Gay Nineties, and I was like right up my alley. <laughs> Hold on. The bar was called <laughs> yeah. the Gay Nineties. It's, it's yeah. not. It's not a. Everyone gay, looks like Doug. Except it's not a gay. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. no, no, no. It's not. It's Rocco not. sucking He's, off the cow. Yeah, uh, <laughs> every one of Ian's girlfriends look like Patty Mayonnaise with a dick. <laughs> <laughs> They're all named Skeeter. Yeah. <laughs> um, That's how he got that name coming on Ian's face. <laughs> um, Poor child. Hold on. Where were you? What city was this? Uh, Minnesota. Minnesota. And there's a bar called the Gay Nineties. And it's not gay. It's like an ironic name, okay. I guess. All right. And so That's I went. Fine. And you That's know when you were like the other looking guys with for turquoise coke rings, and you're just kind of like other. going around, and you're like Coke. Coke, you know, and no, actually, <laughs> yeah. I usually ask somebody if they have somebody's phone number. Yeah, that's so sketchy. You uh, don't fucking ask for Coke. Yeah. <laughs> well, whatever. <laughs> and fucking. Uh, Although that's how you do. That's what you do with trans hookers too. You're like penis. <laughs> Pe- you just troll the streets. No, you just know. You just <laughs> you got a sixth sense. Yeah, the pheromones. Yeah. 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 Anyway, so you're looking in the back for- of your neck go up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was trying to find Coke and. Uh, I guess like this guy felt bad for me and he's like, yeah, I can get you some, but you're going to have to get out of here. The brothers aren't liking this because it was like mostly a black Nation club. Nation of Islam guys. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, it's mostly a black club. Uh-huh. Is it, and it's not a gay bar. No. Okay. So just black people are mad at you. And it, wait, it's a, yeah. a club that black people go to called the Gay 90s? I, dude, I are don't know. Are you sure? Yes. Because yeah, black people, black people don't do irony. Are very homophobic. Especially Minnesota. The, yeah. the one the one place I went to, the first place was called the Gay 90s, and I stumbled into another place. That's right. I'm looking up the yeah. Gay 90s. Oh, you yeah, stumbled into another place. Yes, okay. yes, yes. And and the place I stumbled into was like kind of like a strip topless Oh, wow, only the Gay place. 90s Minneapolis. Yep. And uh, so the guy ends up giving me Coke, and I'm like, all right, man, I'm going to call you tomorrow for heroin. <laughs> He's like, okay. You are? <laughs> yeah. By the I way. I lost his number. By I had always the, by wanted the way, to do it, and I never got it. Thank God. Something outside of me was like looking out for me to like make sure I never no, got it. No, let me it. stop you right there. No one is looking out for you. <laughs> yeah. None of this would have happened By if the anyone way, was looking out for you. Hold on one second. Gay 90s, gay bars, karaoke, dance clubs. That is 100% I a gay bar. I asked someone where the fun was, and they told me gay 90s. Because <laughs> they looked and at they your mustache. It was a gay bar. <laughs> you are such a fucking retard. <laughs> the reason you don't think it's gay, a gay bar, is because you asked someone, and they didn't specifically tell you a bar called the gay 90s yeah. was a gay bar yes so you just assumed it wasn't gay I figured here's it the thing maybe if the fun. owner didn't open it with that intention that becomes a gay club yeah, the, first yeah, 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 yeah. the gay 90s look there yeah. was a McDonald's in DuPont Circle <laughs> that's the gay McDonald's right 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 <laughs> 
And it's oh, just because it happened to be there. Someone used to have a terrible bit about that. One. Yeah, I don't the guy who used to be on bad. the podcast. It was me. I that used was to a do fucking a bit. drawn yeah. out. Stupid you know what? The best part about that bit it was it was a story that happened to me. That really? He started doing well, you were not. That's real. That's time, real Wardell so of him. Anyway, this hey, whoa, whoa, whoa! What are you doing, Ian? Take that fucking this one time at no, no, no. Let him actually. You know what? Tell the story. Let him tell the story. Tell the story. I don't like this. Tell the story. This one time I was in San Francisco and I was trying to find drugs. Wait. Go, Go ahead. ahead. Tell the story. I, I thought Ian was still in the middle of his story. I, Just I didn't tell, tell, tell the story. story. You guys are going to be mean to me. Do you want a chance to tell the story or not, bitch? Not really. Uh, yeah, okay. I'll tell it. <sighs> All right. This one time I was in San Francisco and we were trying to uh, find drugs in the Mission District and uh, all the bars closed at 2 a.m. And so some guys like... Go to 18th and Mission behind the bus station. There's like going to be a closed gate. Um, bang on the gate a couple times. And me and my friends went. <sighs> Finish. Uh, and then me and my friends went there uh, and we banged on the gate. And no one answered. And we're like, fuck, we can't. Oh, man, we can't find we can't find coke. We're screwed. And then we banged again. And this little Mexican guy po- poked his head out and he's like, come in, come in, come in. And like uh, me, it was me, my friend and his girlfriend. And uh, we got in there and it was straight up like a party for Mexican parents. It was like everyone was like 55 years old and dancing like so fucking hard to like banda and like uh, music. So we're like walking around and it was, all you know, it's all couples dancing. So like me and my friend Matt, like everyone, like all these like, <coughs> 10 guys swarmed on his girlfriend. She was like dancing with all of them. Me and my friend Matt, like we're like asking women to dance and they were like, no, like, get, the, get the fuck away from me. And so we just like kept going around like a co- cocaine, cocaine, cocaine. What, Nick, why are you looking at me this way? Just finish the story, keep, keep man. Telling the story. And uh, so then they knock on the bathroom door and this guy, this MS-13 guy comes out of the bathroom and uh, he he like walks me around the bar and he like made me stand at like different places in the bar. And uh, finally, he has me wait like next to the kitchen and he takes like $80 from me. And I'm waiting there for like 15 minutes. And I was like, well, I just got screwed. I, let's just go. I don't want to. This guy's going to kill us. Like, I don't want to. I don't want to. Um, I don't want to like push our luck or anything. Um, guys, I don't like the everyone. Just tell the story, dude. We're invested. Come on. <sighs> And then, uh, anyway, he comes out of the kitchen. He gives us, like, a tiny bag of cocaine. I say, thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. Um, And we do it in the corner of the room. And then just me and my friend Matt just stand there with our hands in our pockets. No one wanted to dance with us. It was such a waste of money. And, uh, okay, why are you guys looking at me this way? No, is it done? Is that it? That's it. I'm sorry. I hmm. didn't fuck any trannies. <coughs> I don't know, man. Pretty good story, That was a pretty good story. Can you give it to Ian? Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, to Ian I don't, I'm, we're not going to rib you over that. Because, sure, you bought cocaine. There was a Mexican guy involved. This is a pretty cool story. That's fun, man. Yeah. The there, Mission District. There's a lot wow. of tech stuff going on there. Well, now there is. That was yeah. when it was... Uh, kind of more of a Mexican. Oh, okay, cool. cool. That's so, great. Um, what's up with like the coffee maker? Uh, or if you could make some coffee for us. I can make you guys coffee. Yeah, that'd if you awesome. could make us a couple of co- co- coffees, that'd be great. Is dude. that what I am now? Can you actually give the mic back? Yeah, to just Ian? give back the mic. Like what was going on at the gay nineties? Yeah, so gay nineties. <coughs> so anyway, oh, it man, was I'm so roaring. excited. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> so they were just yeah, 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 Adam, Adam, yeah, Adam, yeah, Adam, Adam, just get yeah, the coffee, yeah, yeah. Adam. Thanks. And so I mean, there were cocks and balls abound. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they're in Mexican. So you're all right. You're in gay nineties. Stop doing right, right. I I left. I left gay nineties. I went into this strip place, and then I found this guy, and so he gave me a little bag. I was like, great. Coke. coke okay and then i went outside and there was a homeless guy and he was like coke and i was like i'll take more so i bought and it was just dog shit of awful. course it was literally Whatever. dog shit you <laughs> bought yeah, yeah, from yeah. a homeless guy yes i know i like little business i was trying to help <laughs> He's out homeless. how good at selling coke could he be well you know i've you know he probably he got was high so excited to see your dumb ass <laughs> yeah, dude. yeah 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 so I went. I got. I got this. It's a I, miracle you have not been murdered. By the that's way, that's what I'm saying. There's something helping me yeah. out. I, I'm alive for a reason. I should all be right. dead. I don't know about all that. And uh, I say unto you. <laughs> and so I went back to the hotel. I got this back page woman to come over, <laughs> and I could not get it up at all. So we just <laughs> laid in bed and ate trail mix. And then I told her, I was like, give me a couple hours. You come back. I'll eat your ass. What do you think? She's like, absolutely. And we smoked Newports in her car. She left and then she wouldn't answer my phone calls. So that you attempted to eat her ass. 
Because you did that before verbally. again, didn't you? The next day, you couldn't get his tongue hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the next day, I you called her back and just ate tongue. her ass and beat off. No, no. The next day, I finally got up enough courage to call a trans woman. Oh, nice. That was just a normal. And then, that was the first time. No. And then you eat her. You no, ate the her first ass time. And did it happen off. by accident, or you knew you were attracted to these? To these, these I these, I knew these people. <laughs> <laughs> The first time I, I went to I went to a, a tranny karaoke bar. Yeah, oh, nice. Was it and called Nineties Target? <laughs> <laughs> it was Lucky Chang's. I run a uh, like first and second. Oh really? Wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's take a field trip after this. Lucky the, it's, Chang. It's, it's more like gone. Unlucky it's gone. Chang. That that's what his bar turned into. <laughs> yeah. Poor Chang. What was that story you were telling about getting beaten up by? <laughs> By Asian guys, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I bumped into the Asian guy and he's Where? like, "Watch it!" I was, I oh, right, I right, 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 right. I was like, "Take it one. easy, Jackie Chan." <laughs> <laughs> he did not like it, and neither did his friend. Well, that's what I'm saying. Way to prove you're not Jackie Chan by beating somebody up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like the most Jackie Chan thing you can do. Yeah. Now, if somebody, if I was Chinese and somebody called me Jackie Chan, I'd be like, uh, "Checkmate! Yeah. <laughs> you fucking got me." <laughs> you can't be violent. Speaking of Jackie Chan, how great was that fucking rush hour scene where you pick the girls for massages? That's yeah. so clearly you getting fucked. You're fucking these women. Mm-hmm. Again, that is something I did beat off to. I legitimately beat off to that scene where uh, I never you got to it. pick your own woman. I wanted the woman with the big The titties. only Jackie Chan movies I've, I've seen is the tuxedo. <laughs> I've never seen the Rumble tuxedo. in the Bronx. Rumble in the Bronx that was a great. Fucking great I haven't movie. seen that one. Rush Hour is one and two and three. I didn't see three. Anyway... So you were beaten up. You got beaten up by Jackie Chan. Yeah, his his friend came up and just smashed a uh, rocks glass <laughs> on my face. Just my orbital <laughs> nose just kind of went. Where were you? <laughs> this place on uh, like Thirteenth and Third, I think. I, for, I forget How did you the not get it. arrested? Uh, Have you been I've, arrested? I've been arrested. Yes, <laughs> uh, but not for long periods of time. I'm tell- I'm very fortunate. What did you get arrested for? Uh, DUI and then um. Uh, oh yeah, public. I I had a warrant for not paying oh, that's a right. drinking ticket. <laughs> you just what was it? You fucking <laughs> some cops stopped you, and then you're like, "Sorry, officers." You th- oh they, yeah, they caught me drinking on the street. I was drinking a forty, and they're like, "We can throw you in jail right now." It's like I'll throw it out. I promise. So they watched me throw it in the trash, and then I watched them get in the car and drive away, and then I went back into the trash <laughs> and grabbed it <laughs> and drank it. And again, there were the oh, I was on the train. There were these heroin addicts, and I was like. Psst, can I get some heroin? <laughs> they were like, no. You're so such my, a lunatic. I, I took You're my, trying to buy heroin I took on my the train. cat bottle and I threw it at him and a cop saw me and he, you know, threw me against the wall and was like, hey, look, I'm just going to run your ID. If you don't have anything, I'll let you go, you know, whatever. I was like, okay. And then they like started putting me in handcuffs. I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, you got a warrant. I was like, what? Oh, man. Fucking hell. For what? I I had an unpaid public drinking ticket <laughs> that i thought i paid off <laughs> and, and you uh, went to jail for how long it was just like a overnight thing and they i felt pretty cool they let me smoke a cigarette handcuffed walking from the one place to the other and then i got in the in like the van and this uh fucking dude is in there he's like man they fuck people like us i was like yeah you're right <laughs> like, just, like, <laughs> so murderer. Scared. yeah 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 yeah, and then also in the cop car, I was handcuffed, and in the back seat, there were two cops next to me, two in the front, and fucking, they were like, what do you do? I had a Delaware ID, and they're like, what are you doing in New York City? And I was like, I'm trying to be a comedian. Oh, and my like, are you God. on YouTube? And I was like, yes. Oh, <laughs> they like, Dude, they watched one of my videos, and like two of them liked it, one of them did not, and I had a job interview the next day, and he was like, <laughs> he's like, yeah, I really hope you get that job tomorrow. <laughs> I was like, this is so demoralizing. They were playing good. Good cop, bad cop. Dude. So you're doing oh, the yeah. bad cop is the guy that doesn't like your stand up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's how they the got good me to roll cops over. Are, uh, oh, that's so yeah. good. Well, those are good stories. Thank you. Those are but, all good stories. But, now, what I'm what I'm worried about is I don't want this to turn into Ian's one story of these, time. Yeah, Ian's story time. Yeah. I'm already shut up. Shut Adam. up, Adam. Okay. Yeah. We'll, Although we'll I go do to you. Hear, I do want to hear the story where you paid a a tran, uh, uh, you paid a hooker to eat her ass and beat off. Is that right? Yes. <laughs> now, well, here's what we need to really get into, because oh, this is what the it. premium subscribers want. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How do you feel about neoliberalism? <laughs> <laughs> and that's JWs, okay? Who's this Steve Bannon guy? Oh, let's get into it. Uh, what's, come on, man. You're going to fuck up the... <laughs> You're going to smell is, that. Is this is still tangled. I know. 
It's fine, Don't dude. Don't fuck up the recording equipment. That's my signature move, bro. Is it? Fucking up the show? No, He's farting into the mic hilariously. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what he's known for That's, i literally you know where is this yes. a premium episode yeah premium. It's a premium oh episode. okay yeah. all right so actually don't worry not that many only like i don't know it'll be about 1500 people it's, listen it's like to six thousand oh, people cool. will listen right. to it sweet mm-hmm. um so hopefully that gets back to those police officers <laughs> <laughs> yeah do you have any names of yeah people? I, I, I saw it's, them beat it was the shit it was out of this guy tony tony De, tony de googly alonzo uh <laughs> steven the la- the lasagna lasagna. <laughs> uh, they kept lying to me. I kept being like, "I have a job interview tomorrow," and they're like, "We'll get you out of here real soon. Don't worry." And I was like, "I believe you." <laughs> did not uh, happen. Did you get the job? I got the job. I left the jail, went home, did coke to stay awake because I didn't sleep at night. <laughs> and they were like, "So, how was your morning?" And I was like, "It was good." And I'm just like, <laughs> "What?" Picturing job me was like this. Oh, dude, this job, Jesus! I was an administrative assistant. You're like the guy in that movie Flight, but instead of a trial, it's just like Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> just, the biggest day of his life. Yep, just, yep. You know, yep. Fucking another day, you managed to stay alive. Yep. <laughs> yeah, man. That that fucking job. I got the job from my uh, the guy who got me in touch with my coke dealer. Really? Mm-hmm. Well, that's good. Yeah. A lot of range. Now I don't even know if he's alive. Probably Is he like not. a life coach. No, he's oh god. Well, he seems to, have to be to doing a lot for you. He's getting <laughs> coke and job interviews. He's like Carl. I believe in you. He's like Carl in that Simpsons episode where Homer gets an assistant. Oh yeah, that's when he a good gets one. the hair treatment. Yeah. Yes, hell yeah. The Harvey Firestein. Simpson and Delilah. That's the name of the episode. I used to have to hang out with this guy to do free coke with him because mm-hmm. he'd, he'd just give me a bunch of coke for hanging out with him. Yeah. But he'd be like, you know, I've been writing a lot and I really want to do comedy. I'd be like, oh okay. Oh, so I'd geez. have to like listen to his bits and be like, let me get more of that. Oh my oh, god. Yeah, real good, Keith. Coked up wannabe open micer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you know dude. how fucking horrible that sounds? Yeah, it was That's awful. That's two of the worst things. It was just so a coked bad. up guy talking at you. Yeah. yeah. But he's talking bits in bits. At you. In bits. And when when was this again? 2013. Okay. 2012. Yeah. 2013. So he's like, Ian, can you get me up at the lantern at yeah, 2 a.m.? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll bark for you if you give me some coke. <laughs> <laughs> just just two pathetic idiots <laughs> hanging out together. Yeah, coke guys are the worst drug addicts. For sure. Those yeah. are the absolute worst people in the fucking world. And what makes them so shitty is that, like, that there's more defensive attitudes about cocaine addiction than any other fucking drug. Every, like, coke ad I've known, if you're, like, mentioned that, like, oh, you're a coke guy. They're like, no, I'm not. What are you talking about? <laughs> right, 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 right. I'm fucking not a coke guy at all. Just but now that you mention it, it'd deny. be pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, I, like, never do it, but it'd be cool if we got some. <laughs> yeah. You know? It's like, well, it's 11 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> and my coworker at Domino's, so I'm going to go with no. Steven <laughs> Yeah the the fucking Also weird guys Are shrooms guys Who just like Those aren't That's not a guy That's not a guy That was just Marty Did somebody say something Yeah Adam said something Adam brought up The guy that you don't like <sighs> Jeez Really yeah, trying to would. Sabotage the fucking Way to go Adam I thought this Podcast was now I really feel like It's not a bit yeah. Why would it be a bit Why would it be a bit These Can people you go paid sit money. on the couch No Dude honestly look You're $250 away From being back On the podcast if you, this is look, I, I, the only reason I'm doing this, I don't have any personal problem against you. This is a lesson in customer service. The last episode was bad. The both of the two of you both said, "Fuck those people." You know, who hey, cares? whoa, 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 who cares whoa. what they think? And I'm saying, I how care dare what I you? Think. These are paying customers. You think Steve Jobs, when he invented the fucking iPhone, was saying, "Oh, fuck what these people think"? No, he was saying, "Let's hear from them." Let's he actually did say fuck No, he didn't people. at like, all. Did you see the he, movie? No, he didn't. With, no. Excuse me. No, no, no. Excuse no, no, me. No. I'm giving you a lesson right now in customer service. <laughs> really like so it. when these people leave comments and they say, you guys are faggots, you're fucking retards, <laughs> I say, okay, I hear that. <laughs> yeah. Let's make. Uh, let's take us baby steps towards not being faggot retards. Right, right. And what let's they what they Adam said off. was is they said here's the money, kick Adam off the show, and I'm 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 keeping good to that promise. As a matter of principle, to let these people know, we're not, I'm not going to fucking lie to them. So if we get to fifty five hundred, you can come back on the show. And as it stands right now, you're off the show, and uh, and and that's just we might have to raise it though. I don't know. Ian's doing great here. Thank Ian's you. Ian's doing okay. <laughs> those are great you, stories. You're going to make me work for more. I no, no, those it. are great stories. But how many more times can you hear about? It? First exactly. of all, the only reason this is shocking to us is because we're sexist and transphobic. <laughs> <laughs> you put this guy on NPR, and they would be like, "Yeah, that's normal. We all do that." <laughs> I, 
I, what part of I voted for Hillary Clinton don't you understand? Of course I've had a trans penis in my mouth. And of course my dick was smaller. Absolutely. Yeah. And first of all, I measure my penis in metric because I love Europe. And it's, it's four and a half centimeters, two minus the foreskin, Average. which I had surgically reattached. Average. Whoa, Ian, what are you doing here? Um, oh, please, oh boy, we might have it. to audition more people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe we should get a girl. Oh, that's Ooh. not bad. We had we had a we had, uh, I, I, trans yeah. girl. We uh, we had a girl on one time, and I screamed at her about rape. Oh yes, yes, that was pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that was the Aaron Glazer episode. That episode did suck. No, that episode was great. He people loved it. You weren't trying to do jokes. Yes, we were. No, you weren't. Me. Hey, don't bring me into this. I'm on the podcast, dude. Yeah. All right. I, this feels like fifth grade again. This feels terrible. This Dude, feels horrible. what, what happened want? in fifth grade? You had sex a billion times and you <laughs> pretended like, it, oh, I don't know why this is happening. I had, I lost my virginity like a year and a half ago. <laughs> <laughs> I talk about it so much. Obviously. Yeah. Why would I talk about it if I was getting laid when I was 13 years old? I, I, I lost my all. virginity in fucking kindergarten, dude, in the well, janitor's that's, closet. That's what happens in your where you grew up. Yeah, in nice. the janitor's closet. Yeah, I know. It was a molestation joke. No, I mean, oh, steamrolling somebody's joke, yeah. talking over a joke. Maybe now you should just say a molestation joke, Adam. Guys, you know be cool? Okay. You'd so be cool if we... Cousin. Shut up. <laughs> You'd be cool if we all got walkie-talkies and we could communicate like uh, while while we were away from each other. That would be And cool. by all of us, I mean me, Stav, and Ian. <laughs> That's fine. If that you want, Adam can get his own walkie-talkie, but he has to use his own money, and we're not going to tell him what channel we're using. Yeah, he, if you're lucky, you'll find our channel. <laughs> yeah, you have to search for it. It's just Adam alone clicking. Yeah. And then he's Hello. like, he's like, "What's up, guys? It's me." And we're like, "Oh, we're actually done with the walkie-talkie." <laughs> 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 we don't really like walkie-talkies anymore. I think walkie-talkies is gay now. Yeah, actually, actually we're into ham radios now. <laughs> yeah. So uh, you, I guess you can, you know, you can probably have our walkie-talkies if you want. <laughs> You're going to have to borrow money from your mom to get them because our mom's paid for ours, so we don't think it would be fair unless your mom gave us money. For the, we're going to keep the money, and then we're going to get ham radios. Uh, but you're not You're not allowed in. Popo. What's going on? Who's still using ham radio? I don't know. I feel like there's got to be a way to get child porn through ham radio, and that's the only reason anyone's still using it. Could you fax child porn? Is yeah, you can. You could probably fax child you porn. You absolutely can, and there's got to be somebody who's been arrested for doing that. <laughs> Faxing <laughs> child porn. <laughs> Just beating off the blurry, yeah, yeah. smeared, little kids getting their little ass dick sucked. <laughs> Did you unplug my fax machine? <laughs> Mom, don't come in the basement and don't touch my fax machine. Yo, there must have been a, a time in history <laughs> where the most technologically advanced fucking child predators yeah. were faxing yeah. stills. Of some funny guys, kids. Bling, bling. some guys at the hobby store, and his beeper goes off, and he's like, "I have to go home real quick. <laughs> I have some business I have to attend to at my personal fax machine at home." <laughs> oh fuck, that is probably the stupidest way to get porn. Mm -hmm. Is there anything dumber? Uh, by singing Telegram, probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She was four, four years old. Hey, you're looking great. Happy birthday. He took off her pants. What if they fucked a child as part of their singing Telegraph? Now now we're talking. Hell yeah, dude. Now we're getting that's somewhere. A that's a good startup idea. When I, was in, <laughs> when I was in community college, I took this bullshit like marketing class, like this business and marketing class, and the semester project was like... Uh, you know, we have to like come up, we have to design like a, um, like a business mission, like a business plan for our business or whatever. Everyone had stupid ideas. Mine was like, uh, like a website that advertises like local businesses, like, you know, right. And this is 10 years ago. Right, so, right, right. you know, it was like a, like a souped up version of Craigslist or whatever the fuck, right. You know, whatever you want to call it. And then there was these two guys in the class, these giant dudes, they were both like seven feet tall. It was like a black dude and this like, uh, enormous, like white got like white wigger that looked like an owl. <laughs> like a, <laughs> looked like an yeah, owl. Yeah, a very owl. -y. Pointy nose and shit. Yeah, pointy like pointy owl like features, <laughs> like you know, arched eyebrows and shit. Very sort of like you know, sinister looking face, real fat. Oh fuck, I know exactly. Um, what you're talking yeah, about. but like nine XL tall tees, fucking you know, big cargo oh, sweatpants, Air Force Ones, and then he would like he had this like sort of shitty shoulder length like longer hair. 
held with like one of those uh, just like real thin uh, hair bands. Hair bands. Yes, yeah, yeah. Yes. The soccer players. And yeah, shit yeah, yeah. That yeah, kind yeah. of shit. Oh, that's and classic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's classic. On the two of those dude. guys, they're real cool to me because I remember like uh, you know one time I was like, hey, you guys over twenty one? They're like, yeah. And I was like, can you buy me liquor? You know, because I was like seventeen or something. They were like, yeah, sure. And like they gave me a ride to the liquor store and I sat in accident and they were cool. And but the the the, the wigger guy got in his car and you just couldn't sit behind him because he put his chair all the way back <laughs> to the back seat. Like it was, used to be cool to like have your chair seater. back, oh, yeah, yeah. So yeah. you'd have his okay, so you'd be like basically laying down while driving. <laughs> right, right. Um, but yeah, so I like oh yeah, another time in that class, I remember the uh, the fucking uh, the professor was like asking questions about something and there was some kid named like umar or something in the class and the professor's like ro doing roll call and he's like uh umar uh you know uh uh praji jiptu or whatever <laughs> right. the fuck his last name is so yeah umar, umar smell baddie or something like that. and uh he like so he says the kid's name the teacher and then he looks at him and he goes he's like pakistan India, Pakistan, India, you know, and he like does this like back and forth right, and trying right, to right. guess where the kid's from. And before, like the kid doesn't know what the teacher's doing. And before he can answer that big weird kid's like, Ooh, he said Osama, yo daddy, huh? <laughs> 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 My man. Uh, yeah. Said. Ooh, he said Osama, yo daddy. <laughs> and, uh, yes, but no, uh, so they're like, they, at the end of the year, you know, we had to like deliver our like business plan. Or right. Yeah, yeah. It was like a presentation. And they, those two guys just decided they were going to work together. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, yeah, we doing a group project, you know? And it's like, they, that wasn't allowed or whatever. <laughs> right, right, this right. This community college teacher was like, yeah, sure, I guess. Yeah, whatever. yeah, yeah. And they were like, all right, check it out. It's a 24 7 hour uh, weed, beer, and cigarettes delivery service. Oh, my God. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's like, it's like, yeah, that's just illegal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Their business, our business plan is we just break the law. <laughs> all of our <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and he was like, B, B minus, B plus. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is so fucking good. Yeah, oh my God. that was fucking. Uh, God, community college. I I worked the front desk at a community college, like Which testing one? center, CCBC. Okay. It was just fucking, it was awesome, dude. It was nothing but, like, guys like that who just didn't give a fuck or just, like, the hardest working moms that have, like, six jobs and, mm -hmm. like, are getting uh, their yeah, nursing yeah, yeah. degree and shit. Yeah. No, when I took my GED test, it was nothing but just trash people. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there was, like, three girls who were pregnant. And there was this, uh, there were like the instructor was like giving everyone instructions. She's like, make sure your cell phone is off, not on vibrate, not on silent. Make sure it's off. She's like, if your phone goes off and I hear it go off while you're in class, not only am I taking your phone away, you fail the class, you know, right, you fail right, the right. GED, right, right, you right. don't get your money back, right. you know, you have to come redo it again. And this like girl is pregnant next to me. She's like, damn, I will be so pissed at whoever call me. <laughs> <laughs> and then she like thinks people are going to laugh and like no one laughed. And she's like, yeah, that's why I'm telling you to turn your phone off now. <laughs> so that doesn't happen. She's like, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get a laugh out of this room of strangers, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like retarded yeah, strangers. <laughs> yeah. You just miss that element of high school so yeah. much, you don't realize that this is the last chance you're ever gonna get. <laughs> right. it's in the, the class clown in your GED. <laughs> <laughs> that is so fucking good. Yeah, that girl sucked. Oh man, there was at that community college. I remember there was just like a table of fucking. Black nerds versus like Hawaiian shirt white nerds. It was mm -hmm. so fucking just the black Naruto nerds that were just oh, hell like, yeah. yeah, they were just yeah. Like, what is it with black nerds? They love anime. We yeah. got into that on that. On we talked about that on a podcast. Oh, before. did we? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they were the best. Mm -hmm. They just had like they had Hawaiian shirt. They had black beaters yeah. open with Hawaiian shirts, but not like like dragon Hawaii. Like they were like graphic and then just like puka shell necklaces and shit mm -hmm. they were fucking that was the best echo look used to make like a line of like urban anime type yeah like, echo is yeah. huge in the black nerd community yeah they love yeah. it yeah because like yeah. yeah. it was cool for like in just straight up it was cool for like you know it had its run yeah. and then immediately it became like shit you could only get it like marshall's PJ and shit Max, yeah. so like the so like uncool 
black kids moms who you know were just like you're wearing this I don't give a fuck what you say you know what I mean it's like okay <laughs> it's like oh god damn it mom <laughs> like they yeah. all tried to go super saiyan that was my favorite the black yeah. nerds that tried to go super no I had saiyan. a black nerd friend that was like into Mark Echo not just the clothes but the guy <laughs> I didn't even know that was a real name I didn't think that was a, think he's yeah. a great businessman <laughs> that's like what is he yeah, yeah yeah is he Elon the Elon Musk of <laughs> shitty clothes with too <laughs> yeah, many pockets yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Denim with too many pockets. The uh, the logo is cool. It's a, it's a rhino. Yeah, it's yeah, a rhino. Like that's too, it. Right? Feels like that's the clothes Banksy would make if Banksy <laughs> made clothes. He's oh, yeah. like Mark Echo sort of Echo shit. Unlimited. Yeah. Yeah. Where it, like Mark Echo is clothes for people who find legal walls. You know. <laughs> who find what? Legal walls, like places they've set aside where you're allowed to do it's graffiti. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is like the most like, ooh, I only smoke uh, uh, legal marijuana. <laughs> yeah, not, yeah. not even K2, like non-alcoholic marijuana. <laughs> right, right, right. Dude, remember when Spice came out and you're like, oh, this is awesome. It's just illegal weed. You smoke Spice? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was that? I never did that. It what was, was that like? All right, relax. Like, yeah, I'm yeah, a fucking, you fucking scumbag. <laughs> I didn't smoke it out of a hooker's pussy, yeah. dude. You, <laughs> guys, no. you literally drank hand sanitizer. Yeah. That's the fucking spice. Something my nose at you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I've got to get out of here. Yeah. Like someone, if someone people didn't even do that during surrounding prohibition. Surrounding myself. Yeah, people yeah, weren't yeah. doing that during prohibition. They at least had the decency to find rubbing alcohol. Right, 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 right. They didn't sanitizer. have hand sanitizer during prohibition. Yeah, I know. They were busy <laughs> figuring out ways to get Making real bathtub drinks. Making beer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, putting beer in bowling balls. Um, you smoke <laughs> spice? What was that like? I smoke spice. I don't know, man. It just got me. I was getting drug tested at the time because I got kicked out of uh, my housing at UMBC when I went to school. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I was getting drug tested and I was a fucking pothead. So I was like, oh, this is awesome, dude. I'm going to beat the fucking system. <laughs> and it just was weird. I felt very weird after I did it. It was not good. But I was like, oh, this is legal weed, man. It's going to be fucking. And there was a kid. This kid fucking Yelzar was his name. Hilarious name. Yelzar. Yelzar. <laughs> That sounds like a retarded Pokemon. Yeah, like yeah. an autistic Pokemon. Yeah. Half dinosaur, half screaming from autism. Just a stegosaur just rocking back and to forth. Die. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you kill me. <laughs> Yelzar. <laughs> Yelzar has evolved into uh, Ward of the State Czar. <laughs> um... He would he was he was getting drug tested, but he Yelzar. he loved spice. No. He would smoke it out of a bong. He would like <laughs> smoke spice out of a bong. Why dude. the fuck was that his name? I think it's some kind of weird Russian Jew name. Oh, all right, Adam, do you want to comment Adam, on that? I don't think that's a Russian Jew name. Well, okay. It was. okay, what kind of name is it then? I think maybe uh, like Ural, like the Ural Mountains. That's Russia. He was a Russian Jew. Uh, okay, okay, maybe so. Ural Mountains. Those are definitely Russians. Oh, he was Jewish. I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, okay. yeah. So uh, thanks for Jesus commenting. Jesus Christ. Um, we're winding yeah, it down yeah. here, and we're gonna we're gonna talk with Ian for a little bit longer. If you're just joining us, let us uh, know if you like Ian or who you yeah. you want to call replace in now. One eight six six two nine five three nine two four. You're listening to the Anthony Kumia show. <laughs> yeah, we're at the top on, of the on NPR <laughs> at the top. <laughs> now that Trump yeah. is president, Kumia gets NPR. <laughs> <laughs> That would be yeah. so awesome. And here's what it stands for. <laughs> and Puerto Ricans. <laughs> oh, fuck, man. I would love that shit. <laughs> that would be great if they just Fuck, sang. man. We're bringing cars Just a on. retarded guy hosts fucking All Things Considered now. Bobo <laughs> hosts All Things Considered. The yeah, they just, side they, Dave beat off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they just keep all of all of their shows, but they just make them stupid. And yeah. Discredit them. <laughs> That'd be great. God, that would be awesome. I would love it. <laughs> wait, wait. No, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait. Up yours, yeah, chink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, asking Chinese immigrants that don't speak English trivia and if they get it wrong you punch them <laughs> Fox News literally did that though Fox News sent that oh, guy out right. to Chinatown and they're like how do you feel about Trump and the guy's like oh, I don't know the question and be like you fucking idiot <laughs> yeah. like bag of gong yeah, <laughs> this guy survived the cultural revolution he got here somehow makes the $30 a week fucking <laughs> selling carving cans. fish on the yeah, street yeah, 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 and they're yeah. like what an idiot look at these lazy immigrants. 
Uh, I hope Steven Crowder gets kicked in the balls. <laughs> was that the guy who did it? No, it was no, a different guy. guy. But Steven Crowder's as much of a piece of shit. Who's, Who's Steven, Steven Crowder? Crowder? Steven Crowder's yeah. actually, yeah, worse. Yeah, Steven Crowder Steven tried to make this video to like prove how little people know about like uh, gun laws. <laughs> so they had this table set up with like different rifles, different long rifles, and they had like an AR-15. They had a thirty out six. They had. Uh, you know, like a SKS or something. I don't even really know that much about yeah, guns. Yeah, yeah, But then he's like asking guns are people, gay. he's like, uh, you know, um, which one of these do you think should be illegal? You know, and like half the people are yes, were like, uh, well, you know, probably the ones that could be classified as assault rifles. He's like, hmm, why? And he's like, well, just because of the way they're branded and marketed, they're like, there's clearly, you know, you know, not an intention of using them for hunting. He's like, okay. Well, fuck you then. You know, yeah. <laughs> they were just like, right. Didn't even have a point. Yeah, and then he like left them. Like he's like, I want to show how much liberals don't know about guns. But then it was just edited so poorly that you know he gets like a you know the, the gamut of people that know shit about guns passing on the street, and he just doesn't have a point. There's just no point to the fucking video. yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's maybe one or two people that are like the AR-15 because it looks scary, even though right, it's like right, right. chambered, you know, smaller than the 30 odd or whatever. Right, 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 right. The best video is the guy in Michigan, the union, the union guy, guy that punches him in the him face. In the face. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. I didn't. See well, that. what's even better than that video is Steven Crowder going on like MSNBC or something after that, and the union boss representing. I don't know, was that UAW or yeah, I think yeah. So, yeah, yeah. There was like some union boss on on, and they have him like in there, and he's like. You're a punk and you're a coward and uh, and you should be ashamed of yourself. And Steven Crowder's just like looks humiliated because <laughs> like you know he just doesn't stand yeah. up for himself yeah, at yeah, all. Yeah, yeah. Well, to be fair, <laughs> to be fair, that union guy that punched him is like a, a foot shorter than him, and Steven Crowder tried to punch him back. So it's like yeah. he got sucker punched. You know, if they, I'm sure Steven Crowder would have actually fought that dude. I don't like him, so it's funny that he got punched in the face by that guy. Right. But he looked like a real piece of shit when he was on the on like MSNBC or whatever later, and they had that union. That's guy awesome yeah it doesn't mean he wasn't prepared for that what did he think the union guy was gonna be like <laughs> yeah oh cool vid steve yeah, <laughs> like yeah, yeah, of right. course he's gonna attack you, no, you what a, little, what a piece of shit because you know he's he got his money he's famous for being the voice of like uh, on arthur. Oh, he was on arthur yeah. <laughs> really yeah he's he was, the voice of arthur you know, no he was one of the kids, friends yeah, yeah either the, like his he friend, the bunny with the gay moms yeah, the bunny or i think the kid that's just a potato <laughs> which never made sense one of them's just a potato. oh yeah yeah the bully yeah with the fucking tooth the weird tooth yeah, yeah, what yeah, is yeah. that? That's not know. an animal. I don't know, a, a fucking bison or some shit? Yeah, that's another thing. Black Twitter loves Arthur. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, great. Yeah, with that closed fist. Arthur's Arthur funny. Yeah. SpongeBob. SpongeBob's, I get I get SpongeBob. Those are, good like me- SpongeBob. Those are both good for memes as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Well, okay. Um, so, uh, Ian, do you have any closing remarks? Uh, I'm just really grateful I got to replace Adam for the day. No, we, yeah. Adam, you'll have a, ch- a, a chance so, to talk in a second. I just want to thank um, all the cum fans out there for this opportunity. Yeah, yeah. you have anything you want to plug? Big for your job. Uh, <laughs> just uh, my website, Ian Finance, I A N F I D A N C E dot com. That's C O M? That's C O M. C U M. Dot C U M. Dot C O M. So, so if, you, if you guys have personal computers and <laughs> access to the World Wide Web, you can check out his <laughs> website by typing in http <laughs> colon forward slash forward slash <laughs> www, www that stands for hypertext transfer protocol worldwide web <laughs> dot ianfidance.com that stands for commercial yeah. it's a top level domain these are these are brand new things here uh, coming out if you don't have dial up at home you can go to the local library and check it out there um, where Ian spends most of his time <laughs> he does uh, look like he spends most of his time yeah, in the there library was, there was a story a couple of years ago about this guy that got arrested for not just downloading but beating off the child pornography <laughs> at the library Christ. in the middle of the day. Holy like, shit. You know, just like, you know, one of those tables and then there's a pic- <laughs> there's a guy's mugshot in the paper and he looks insane. <laughs> <laughs> he's a, he got his, what the fuck? He got a, he's got these like fucked up teeth and this intense <laughs> look in his eyes and it's like, this guy rules. Yeah. <laughs> this guy fucking absolutely rules Jesus he's me i'm Christ. him he's that my is. dad we're the same <laughs> yells are uh, yeah well ian thanks for coming and yeah, we're gonna thanks, jump guys. over to adam friedland our uh our besmirched and former for- forsaken guest and now third co-host adam what do you think about ian's uh, performance on the podcast today i thought it, no i i like ian a lot and i thought he did great would you say this I'm is a gentleman would you say this is one of well our by best saying episodes? you're a gentleman hold on would you say this is one of our best episodes i don't know it was a good one would you say it's one. one of our best? 
I thought it was a good one. Would you say it's one of our best? I'd say it's probably the best, and it was because we did this bit where There's I was no where we didn't bring no enough microphones. Oh, is that um, a bit? Is that a bit? We yeah, literally don't have enough microphones. It was the bit that we decided that we were going to do. When you left the house today, Nick, how many microphones did you intend to take with you? Three. Okay. Three people. Well, okay. Well, I, you know, if you guys feel morally comfortable... Um, Kicking me off the podcast and then recording it. You're going to appeal to Nick and my sense of morality. <laughs> that's what you think you're going to win. Yeah. That is, that's <laughs> what you I think. Weren't you trying to impress us earlier by knowing the word pathos and we told you to shut up? <laughs> no, I did the opposite. I said, I did the absolute opposite of that. I said that the Chapo guys were just saying po- pathos in conversation to each other. We just talk about fucking each other in the ass. <laughs> When we're we're jealous of him. Adam has a severe insecurity complex about the, the he wants to be on Chapo. Yep. He can barely be on Comtown. <laughs> I can't be on Chapo either. I don't know. Comtown, the world's alt right premier <laughs> podcast. <laughs> that's the point that okay. That's the point that I'm getting to. Um Uh oh. It's an, it's irony if I'm on the podcast, but if oh, I'm off, if you kick the Jew off, I'm sorry. You know how many then, Jews we could find to replace yeah. you? Ian looks like a Jew. He's yeah. not Jewish. I'm, first of all, I'm Jewish. I, I know we like don't say that, you know, yeah, because Nick's it's Jewish. funny. But, it, but come on, man, I'm Jewish. You're not Jewish. Yes, I am. Yes, he my is. family changed their name during the Holocaust so they could get a job on that tower they fell off. <laughs> of. You got an Irish last name, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Milenowitz. Was Mullen? his they changed it to an Irish name at Ellis Island. Yep. It used to be Mullen coin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so <laughs> it used to be Mullen coupon. It was coupon hyphen coin. It was Jonathan Nickelpenny. Hey, name's Dimey. Jonathan. Your last name was Jonathan Nickelpenny. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's me, Dimey, Dimey, Dimey Nickelpenny. But my friends call me Quarter. It's good. That was thanks, good man. Um. So in sum, yeah, I'm off the podcast, and you guys are going to keep recording at my apartment in front of me. Well, uh, only when sometimes. only when your heroes, the Chapo guys, are busy. At They're my not apartment. my heroes. <laughs> Those I guys think... you look up to and wish you were. I don't. Sorry. Look up t- Maybe you should have read a couple more books. Yep. Instead of hanging out with fucking stand up, real stand up, New York stand up, real ass dudes, real real ass dudes, Puerto Rican rattlesnakes, rattlesnakes. barstool philosophers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Puerto Rico. Uh, yeah, that was great. That Guys, was uh, I'd also like to plug my appearance uh, from. Uh, I guess it would. It's going to be last week when <laughs> this goes up on uh, the Jim and uh, Jim and Sam show. Jim Norton and Sam Roberts had me in studio at Sirius XM, and I bombed. I uh, <laughs> Jim got annoyed and started looking at his phone, and eventually just left the studio. <laughs> Wait, in the middle of your interview? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he just left. He was like, he's like, I got to find this app to put text over video, and then he like left the studio it's called snapchat yeah and then sam was like uh so nick where are you from i'm like i don't know man but yeah no uh adam you know thanks for your your feedback thanks for letting us use your apartment and you know what if we get the 5500 you're back on the podcast I've been on the podcast since we got to five. You're not on it right now. You're not on it right now. Get take the mic from him, dude. We're only we're only we're Thank only you. about two hundred and fifty dollars away from adding Manny and Spot back on the podcast. And then I tell you what, super fans, if we get to fifty seven five, <laughs> Adam's back off the podcast. <laughs> yeah. Let's do let's do like seven G's. <laughs> if yeah. we get to seventy five, well, I think Adam's... seven's already said it's something. Okay, I said it, if we get to ten thousand, then we have to learn about politics. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, dude. Yeah. I hope we never get to ten. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to fucking read shit. What about sixty nine hundred, dude? I try. I've been trying to read a book. You know, I know we're both on the tough. same book, and it's Fuck a book about shit. like Indians <laughs> chopping people's heads off. It's actually a great book, but yeah, I still can't get what through. Book? It. Really Plug the book. What book? Blood Marine. Yeah, yeah. If we're gonna get to ten thousand. I'd be like, mm, Syria. Oh, allow me to do this Rubik's cube. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've completed it. And then all I'm, right, ten thousand. We learn about politics. Yeah. All right. All right, that's the goal. And uh, yeah, tell your friends to subscribe. We now have Nazi tier pricing. <laughs> if uh, if you are one of the Nazis that listen to the show, th- thanks. Hey, appreciate the support. But if you're going to buy the premium episodes, please pay $15 a month so we can sort of be like, you know, yeah, we're, you know, it's irony. Yeah, um, yeah. we're charging you more. We're charging you There's more. There's a premium for being a Which bad person. Which is an idea we stole from the Cinderblock Comedy Festival, <laughs> to be fair. <laughs> uh, I 
ripped that off. So <laughs> thanks to all the all the comedy gals for coming up with that idea. Congratulations to the Nazis for getting me off the podcast. If it, you, they couldn't have done it without you, uh, shut everyone up. else, mm-hmm. take the mic. Like, take shut the up, bitch. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, wow. There Ian. you go, Ian. Ian. You're Ian. not part of this. Hey, take you it. don't no, make no, fun of me. The, they make fun of me. You don't make fun of me. That's the most come down thing you've done. You so don't far, make fun Ian. of me. <laughs> they, you're. They can make fun of me, but not you. Suck this dick, bitch. <laughs> hey, there <laughs> you go. Right. Now you're getting the hang of it, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, all right uh okay all right well uh thanks guys thanks for listening hopefully if you were bummed about last week's you're uh you're on board with with our guest ian this week and you got what you want so uh let us know suggestions yeah, for the third mic if guys. you don't if you want to just leave hate mail for adam in the comments please feel free thanks see you next week